Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Let's see what we are going to create today. Open After Effects, let's start with new project. Create new composition, set its width to 1080 pixels, height to 1920 pixels, and duration to 15 seconds. And hit OK. Now right click, and create new shape layer. And select this rectangle tool. Let's enable grid. Now, press Shift plus Alt and create a small rectangle. Just like that. Now click on this rectangle shape, and press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate this shape. Now explore its transform properties. And move this rectangle on right side. Cool. Now, Click on this shape layer, click on that, and select repeater. Explore its transform, set its value to 0. And set Y axis value to 100. Now increase its copies as much you want. Select this rectangle tool. Also change its shape color to white. Now. Create a new rectangle shape. Now, explore properties, unlink this scale. And stretch it on Y axis. Just like that. Also, bring its position down on Y axis. Let's stretch it a bit. Cool. Now, drag this shape layer to bottom, and set its track mat to alpha inverted. Let's rename this shape layer. Here, we have created this film strip. Now, Let's import some images. Create new composition, and rename it. Drag your image to this composition. And scale it to fit in this comp. Cool. Now, drag this composition into this timeline. Click on layer, and press S, and scale it down, to fit in this film strip. Now, click on this film strip layer, and press P, to open position properties. Let's drag its position up on Y axis. Just like that. Now parent this image layer to this film strip layer. Now, press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate this image layer. Let's deselect its parent. Now, let's move this film strip down on Y axis. To somewhat here. Cool. Unhide this image layer. Now click on this composition, and press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate this layer. Also replace it with new image.
Let's drag this composition to timeline. Now scale it down to fit in this film strip. Now parent this image layer to this shape layer. Cool. Let's hide this image layer. Now, drag its position down on Y axis. Unhide this image layer. Now parent this to film strip layer. Cool. Again duplicate this composition layer, and replace image with new one. So, we are going to follow same steps as we discussed. Now, we don't have enough space to add here a new image, so to fix this, click on this film strip layer, and press S. Also, make sure you deselect all layers from its parent. Then scale it up. Just like that. So we got more space to add our new images. Again select this image layers, and parent this to film strip layer. Unhide this layer. Now, duplicate this image layer. And parent this to with this shape layer. Now, move it down on Y axis. Also unhide this layer, and parent to this shape layer. Cool. Now, move its position up on Y axis. Just like that. Now, right click, and create new solid layer. And choose your color. And press OK. And place it below all layers. Now right click, and create new shape layer. Create a rectangle. Just like that. Now, select pen tool. And click on this icon, so that we can mask this shape layer. Now, create mask on this shape layer. Just like that. Explore mask properties. And set feather to 652. Also, change its shape color. Let's rename this shape layer. Now, right click and create new text layer. Type your text, choose font, and place it here. Cool. Now go to effects and presets, and search for typewriter. And drag it to this text layer. Now click on this layer, and press E, to open opacity. Now, let's create some random keyframes, and make its opacity increase and decrease. Just like that. Let's adjust these keyframes position. So that we get this amazing blinking effect on this text. Explore this text properties, and turn on this randomize. Cool. Now search for Venetian blinds.
and drag it to this text layer. Set its width to 235. Feather to 77. Now, pressing Alt, click on the stopwatch of direction. And type this expression. Cool. Now click on this stopwatch. And move this time indicator bar to somewhat here, and set its value to 0. And set value to 100 on first frame. Cool. Let's preview this text animation. Awesome. Well, you are free to adjust those keyframes on how you want to appear your animation. Now, click on this shape layer, and press P, and drag this position to up on Y axis. Also, Click on this shape layer, and press P, and drag this position to down on Y axis, and place it here. Now click on these stopwatch and create keyframes. And move this time indicator bar on 1 seconds. And move those back to their original position. Just like that. Now, right click, and create a null object layer. Now parent this shape layer to this null object layer. Now go to 3 seconds in time, and click on stopwatch of position to create keyframe. Now, place this 1 seconds forward and move this position down on Y axis, to reveal the second image. Again, place this at 6 seconds in time, and create keyframe, this keyframe will hold this animation. Now, place this 1 seconds forward, and move this position down on Y axis. Cool. Well, you are free to add more images if you want. Now select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Let's select these keyframes, and click on this graph editor. Now drag this bar completely. Also adjust this bar a bit. Cool. Do this same to this keyframes. Let's preview this. Cool. Click on this icon. Now, select these layers, and enable its motion blur. Cool. Now, the last step. Bring this time indicator to first frame. Select this shape layer 1, and press P, to open position properties. Now, let's move its position all the way up on Y axis. Just like that. Now, parent this shape layer 1 to this film strip layer. Cool. Let's preview this. Awesome. So, this way we have created this awesome story animation inside After Effects.
If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.